sorry to be late. Oh, you're not late. The traffic was terrible. Well, thank you, you didn't have to do that. Oh, Good to see you. Wasn't it terrible, Howard? Oh, well, Route 12. Uh, by the time they finish that stretch of road, they'll have to start all over again, right? <laughs> and you must be John. Hey, hello, John. Uh, nice to meet you. Heard a lot about you. Where are your darling children? They're at a birthday party. Sorry they couldn't be here. Don't worry. If I had a certified lunatic coming around my house, I'd probably get the kids out of the way, too. Look at all this food. You didn't have to go to any trouble for us. Just some sandwiches. John, would you like a sandwich? Helen's been talking it up about you people for months. The nice young wheelers on Revolutionary Road. The nice young revolutionaries on Wheeler Road. <laughs> <laughs> would anyone like some sherry? Oh, please don't bother, Frank. I'd like some sherry, and I'll drink Helen's, too, if she doesn't beat me to it. <laughs> oh, uh, but hey, you got a highball glass? Hmm. Put a couple three ice cubes in it, pour it up to the brim. That's the way I like it. I think I can handle that. This egg salad is delicious, April. You must tell me how you fix it. You a lawyer, Frank? No. No, I'm not. I could use a lawyer. John, let's not get started again about the lawyer. Pop, couldn't you just sit there and eat your wonderful egg salad and quit horning in? See, I've got a good many questions to ask, and I'm willing to pay for the answers. Now, I don't need to be told that a man who goes after his mother with a coffee table is putting himself in a weak position legally. That's obvious. John, come have a look out this fabulous picture window. If he hits her with it and kills her, that's a criminal case. Oh, look, the sun is coming out. If all he does is break the coffee table and give her a certain amount of aggravation and she decides to go to court over it, that's a civil case. Maybe we'll have a rainbow. John, come have a look. Ma, how about doing everybody a favor? How about shutting up? Settle down now. Maybe I can look into it. Recommend someone. What do you say? Hmm? Hmm. So, what do you do, Frank? I, uh, I work at Knox Business Machines, actually. You design the machines? Uh, no. Make them, sell them, repair them? No. Oh, all these questions. Oh, I help sell them, I guess. I, I work in the office. Actually, it's, uh, well, it's sort of a stupid job, really. There's nothing interesting about it at all. What do you do it for, then? Maybe Frank doesn't like being questioned like Oh, okay, this. okay, okay. I know. It's none of my business. And besides, I know the answer. You want to play house, you got to have a job. You want to play very nice house, very sweet house, then you've got to have a job you don't like. Anyone comes along and says, what do you do it for? He's probably on a four-hour pass from the state funny farm. <laughs> All agreed? <laughs> Ma? Sorry, Frank. Oh, don't be. Don't be. Actually, John, I agree with everything you just said. We both do. That's why I'm quitting the job in the fall. We're, we're taking off. We're moving to Paris. Did you know about this, Ma? Wow. How do you feel about that, Ma? The nice young wheelers. <laughs> the nice young wheelers are taking off. <laughs> John, please. Ready, down, son. John, John, how about some fresh air? What do you say, if that's all right with you? I don't know if it's such a good idea. If John wants to. I don't see the harm. Good. After you. Mm -hmm. 